Oh, right. I forgot I could just go back to interludes. All right. Well, I got a little bit more time before the maintenance kicks in, so... Who do I want to do? How do I want to do this? Let's talk about evil. Uh, let's see. Uh, we'll take... What have we got? Oh, yeah, I'll take someone's, uh, Arjuna Altar. Sure. Put in... Oh, no, not her. No, she can work. All right, we need, um... We need Amakusa. Where the hell is he? There he is. There's Amakusa. Uh, Saber Lancer. So we can just bring a Saber. Uh, here's an AoE. I think it's just a single target. Like death to a single enemy, yeah. Uh, I guess then we'll take Arthur. We haven't seen him. And for backup, for backup, we'll put on Deer Mood. Rock and roll! Let's talk about evil. There is nothing helpful to be gained by separating good and evil. Good people miraculously cause evil to rain down upon us, and the same is true for evil people and good. It is instinct itself that gets in the way of doing good. People resort to evil for all manner of reasons. To eat, to sleep, to escape pain, to earn praise, to gain respect, to avoid having to think. To connect with others, to form bonds, to rest, to have peace of mind, to avoid death. That is why sometimes people choose evil. It's just not as simple as telling them to be better. Fair. So, I can't blame the samurai we fought at the Shimabara Rebellion for killing my compatriots and myself. Of course, I can never forgive them for what they did, and I have no desire to do so. But, would we have been any more merciful had the tables been turned? I doubt it. Demanding that others do things we can't is one of mankind's worst habits. <laughs> this isn't really what I had in mind for a tea talk. <laughs> I can't blame you at all for feeling that way, but I'm not about to stop now. Great. There have been lots of heroes and such who have tried to resolve the problem of evil once and for all. But unfortunately, none of them ever succeeded. Some of them went about it the wrong way, some of them got bogged down in the details, and some of them were mistaken about what the end result of their endeavor would be. Strangely enough, it turns out that in order to eradicate evil, one must resort to the decidedly evil measure of sacrificing the few for the sake of the many. Talking from, uh, talking from experience there? And of course, in doing so, such an endeavor ceases to be good. That is the part that tripped up everyone who attempted this, be they hero, genius, or otherwise. Which is exactly why you shouldn't lose heart. After all, this is the only option you have. What? <laughs> I'm talking about the Lost Belts. You seem to be taking the loss pretty hard, after all. How deep are we into this before I start criticizing? If we're one Lost Belt in, that's fine. Two Lost Belts, iffy, but I won't complain. Three and four, nah, we shouldn't be caring anymore. You may give us orders as our master, but at the same time, you also have your own orders to follow. I appreciate the thought, but I can't let myself get used to this. That's because you're a bitch. Yes, that's true. Getting used to it would erase one of your key advantages. Most servants are merciless, myself included. After all, whether it's for a greater cause, our country, our loved ones, 
or ourselves we wield our blades. And we would never become he have become heroes had we not grown accustomed to fighting. I mean, there are some scholars who are heroes. They didn't fight. <laughs> Last time I checked, I don't think Anderson or Shakespeare got into big brawls on a... Well, actually, maybe they did. I don't fucking know. But you're an ordinary person, and as long as you remain so, you'll never get used to that. One slight misstep on the path to your destination, and you could even end up with lifelong trauma. How- well, I'd argue I already have lifelong trauma, but thanks. However, that willingness to hold your ground even as you get hurt despite not being a hero is also why you shine so bright. I think I get it. It's fine if you don't understand everything. As long as you continue to do what you can, that's all that matters. Oh my, look at the time. I didn't mean to go on this long. Alright, I think I'd better bid you good night now. Sweet dreams. Oh great, I can't wait for another in-dream fucking interlude. Those are my favorite. There we go. Oh yeah, it's definitely gonna be a dream interlude. I already see Dante's. There we go. I'm sorry, that was more than a little intentional. I expect when he goes to sleep tonight, he'll end up wandering into the rift. I can't let him depart this world now, so I'm going to tag along and tie up some loose ends. Luckily, it should be easy for you to carry me there, right? Thank you. Now I can finally clean up this mess. Why did Dante just suddenly become, like, the Freddy Krueger of Fate Grand Order? Or Dante's, not Dante. Dante is a poet. Yo, speaking of which, fucking, uh... Don't be a coward, Fate. Put Dante Alighiero into fucking FGO. I, I, I want the Dante's Inferno, the video game version of Dante as a servant. I almost don't even care if you make, it a, make him a woman. Almost. Keyword. But yeah, no, seriously, wh why did Dante's become, like, the Freddy Krueger, like, passes into everyone's dreams and shit like that? I don't get it. And I assume the mess he's talking about is we're probably going back to Shimosa. <laughs> Where am I? Hello again, Master. Can you see how, how horribly how horribly everything is burning here? Oh? You seem suspicious about something. It's almost as though you think I'm responsible for us being here. Aren't you? Indeed, I am. This is as much your nightmare as it is mine. Do you remember seeing this scenery before? Uh... Indeed, Reality Marble, the Hell of Shimabara. The living hell you once experienced in the Shimosa province pseudo-singularity. I too experienced something very similar to it back when I was alive. Yeah, it was called living the actual Shimabara... Uh, sh uh, shit, I don't remember what they were now. Uh, no, I don't remember what type of feud it was. But why are we seeing it again? this again now? And that would be my doing. Do you remember what we talked about before bedtime? About lost spells and evil and all that jazz? It was through that talk that these memories came back to life and merged with the curses you've been accumulating. Normally driving such curses away falls to another servant. But tonight I asked him to let me handle it. Seriously, why is Dante's just like... I'll clear you of your, like, fucking curses. Go into your dreams and shit. <laughs> they were just like, oh, he's an Avenger. He's not actually, uh, Edmund Dante. So we'll just say fuck it. He does whatever the hell we want him to. Sure. So, yes, this was all intentional. I'm sorry I dragged you into it, but... I guess it's okay? Oh? You really don't mind... Even though, by all accounts, this is a fairly serious situation. I know you didn't do this for no reason. <laughs> well, that's where you're wrong. I did. Well, now I'm kind of embarrassed. Alright, if you trust me that much, I'll go ahead and tell you everything. 
No more lies. But first... We need to dispose of these riffraff. Let's talk more once this is over, shall we? Okay. No, no more sorrow. I don't remember the words to No More Sorrow. And did the fast forward get faster? Like, I know it's been like that for a while, but... Definitely feels like it got faster. Oh, wait, there are only two things to this? Oh, shit. Nah, these guys are getting fucking Arjunut. Alright, what the fuck does this shit do? And what does this do? Apply guts, restore H. Okay, cool, yeah. No, they're dead. <laughs> what is this? Maha pro, pro. I still can't pronounce that. Fuck it, just die. Also, I don't like this version of Arjuna. I much prefer, like, his first form with the white hair. It looks him, makes him look way more distinct, way more alien and lost belt in nature. There's a poetic irony of him saying, uh, of him saying evil is unnecessary in this world, yet I think that's the complete opposite message of this entire, of this interlude. Alright. Let's rock and roll. And what does this do? Chance to immobilize one. Oh, serve an enemy. A large amount of critical stars? Sure, fuck it. Special attack, super giant, increase MP gauge. Not necessary, but sure. Does an Oni count as a super giant? Twin arm, big crunch. Kind of figured that wouldn't kill. But that's okay. That's what he's here for. Oh, so close. So very, very close. Oh, well. So close. So very, very tantalizingly close to just finishing that in two rounds. Ah, <sighs> alas. Okay. Oh, great. Unknown. Fantastic. You know what? No, where's my other phone? Solve this real quick. Uh, that's that's where I watch. That's where I watch Geki Ranger. There we go. Uh, G O Wiki. Um, uh, Usa. Here we go. Interlude. 
talk about... Oh, that's interesting. Translation for the kanji should be something closer like, let's talk about world salvation. Interesting. Uh... Oh. Okay. Cool. Interesting. Makes sense, I suppose. In that case... Uh, there we go. Fuck you all back around. Oh, no, wait, we're gonna keep Amakusa. There we go. Spishtar. up Soleri All right, let's party. Now then, as I was saying, over the course of your adventures, master, you've been unwittingly collecting some less than desirable things. I speak of the kind of residual feelings wild beasts can only dream about. In a word, grudges. And while you may not usually be aware of them, these grudges still find ways to cause you pain. Of course, Da Vinci and the rest of Kiata's staff do everything they can to care for your mental health. But it's just not enough. And because it's not enough, an Avenger has also been secretly helping you, even as he pretends not to care. However, there are some things that cannot, that not even he can do. Oh, we're talking about Dante's. Why are they so secretive about Dante's, like, name and appearance in some of these? I don't get it. Sorry about that. I had to go take care of the dogs now, as I was saying. Uh, as you've escaped Kielda and gone on journey after journey, you've continued to accumulate curses slowly but surely. Curses that will destroy a core part of you someday. So this time I decided to try handling one of these. Let's say, karmic debts before it got too big. Left unchecked, curses can grow into dreadful, powerful things. But if I can give this one some form of direction, it might just change into something I desire. Wait, <laughs> what? I do. I've always wanted to meet this other being who called himself by my name ever since I heard about him. Now, what other name did he go by again? Ah, yes. Sorcerer. <laughs> foolish. Foolish. How incredibly foolish. I knew my heroic spirit self had been reduced to slaving for humanity. But I would never have dreamed he was this foolhardy, foolhardily ignorant. Well, now, that didn't take long at all. I don't suppose you could also manifest Oriendo Castle while you're at it. I cannot. All I can do now that I am a mere dreg of my former self is to create recreate this very place. But now, to my surprise, that boy there has chosen to throw his life away of his own volition. I was prepared to spend years, decades if necessary, clinging to life in the darkest recesses of his brainstem, but... <laughs> I can't imagine that would have worked out for you. It would have only been a matter of time before you were discovered and scrubbed away. Or burned to ashes by a certain someone I could name. Exactly. A tiny mouse can never hope to defeat a tiger, after all. But now you have committed a, committed a crime of arrogance. One that resulted in giving me an opportunity with which to manifest my very self. My next step will be to destroy that boy's mind, turn him into my puppet, and then... Am I in as much danger as it sounds like? 
Don't be silly. Sure, you haven't forgotten that I'm here to have you. Everything will be fine, I promise. In fact, I'll even say this. <laughs> According to my calculations, I'm 99.9% .9 sure to win. <laughs> Why would you even voice that possibility? <laughs> I'm just kidding. I always wanted to say something like that once in my life. I never thought I'd get the chance to actually say it loud and proud like that. Alright, the whiplash is set again, please. Please fucking just go to the fight. Of course, chances like that are few and far between in reality, but here... Huh? What in the world are you talking about? No, never mind that. How can you be so confident? You think me an imposter? Do you make light of me as a fragment of my former self? Not at all. I'm not making light of you in the slightest, nor do I think you're anything less than a formidable opponent. I'm just fully confident that I can beat you anyway. To be completely honest, I wasn't sure how this world would go how this would go until I came face to face with you. But now that I have, I can say this with complete certainty. I will never end up like you. No. No, you absolutely won't. How could you now that you've thrown away your revenge and forgotten these flames? You're wrong there, Avenger. I've never forgotten these flames or this hell. All I've done is make peace with them. Ridiculous. How can you claim with a straight face that you've forgiven such cruelty, such despair? Are you telling me I should just forget it ever happened? That I should wash my hands of it like so much soap? I'm afraid you fundamentally misunderstood me, sorcerer. We may be similar, but you are definitely not me. Just because I've made my peace with it doesn't mean I've forgotten it or my hatred. But my hatred was only reserved for mankind's sins. Then we come to everything good in the world. Until my body completely falls apart, I'm going to keep searching for a way to purge evil and save all of humanity. You're no hero. You're not even a saint. You're just broken. A half-wit chasing delusions. There is no possible way I will fall to the likes of you. It seems we really are fundamentally the same at heart then. Right down to the things we say. Which means this battle will all come down to the strength of our trump cards. Alright, let's get to it, shall we? My name is Amakusa Shiro Tokasada. Though you may look like me, if I must destroy you in order to purify your curse, I won't hesitate to do so. Very well, then. If you truly think you're capable of it, then go ahead and try! Hey guys, thanks for watching this video. If you like this video, be sure to leave it a like. And if you want to see more of my future content, be sure to hit the subscribe button. And to stay up to date with all of the releases that come out daily, be sure to click that bell. And if you're feeling a little bit generous, why not check out my Patreon page? Link is down in the description. And as always, until the next video, hasta.